Hi guys. So I said I wasn't going to do any more Grantham against Residente because his his uh, vocabulary and his bars are, I mean, they are up there. They're difficult to translate. And I want to do the best I can translate it at the same time that he's saying it. But somebody left me a comment, uh, this uh, YouTuber, she float the flow and said, hey, you're not going to you know, react to this. <laughs> to Grantham, uh, Mate Residente, I murdered Residente. And I was like, uh, no, that he had a, a fourth one? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, when did it come out? Thinking, well, it came out a long time ago, or maybe it was the first one. No, I mean, like the first one, the original one that gave, uh, but it didn't. He started with lesson number one. After he made that comment, and, Re and Residente, oh, Residente said was no. So let's see. He said that he murdered Residente, and I want to go as fast as I can because for some reason, after I record a certain amount of time, my camera dies on me, and then all I have is my screen recording. And I rather, you know, I mean, if I can keep it up with the visual, then I just go ahead and keep up with the screen recording. I like that too, with just my voice and get to the end because, you know, I like to have all this in one video. So let's go. René, ven, vamos a estudiar. Tengo una pregunta, tú me la contestas. ¿Qué tienes que hacer para ganarte los Grammy? Ok. René, contéstame si es fácil. ¿Qué tienes que hacer para ganarte los Grammy? Ya sé. Te la canto y así entonces tú te la vas aprendiendo. Ponerte de rodilla en la academia, ponerte de rodilla en la academia, ponerte de rodilla en la academia, ponerte de rodilla. Yeah. Okay, I laugh uh, not because of what he said, but I laugh because of what he said on the on the screen there. You guys can see he changed it and added an M and like in English just by putting one letter, you change the whole meaning of a word. Now, it was a bad word. I'm not going to repeat it. But no more calls to the, uh, you know, to the to the uh, Rapper Academy. And then he changed that word. And it came out no more for something else. Uh, well, he started off aggressive right away. And very disrespectful because he's using René's mom's voice now. So he really, and this was, uh, it came out in March of this year. Residente has not replied. Residente is only writing uh, his, for his movie. He's writing a script for his movie. So he is not paying attention, I guess, to any music. Oh, if, and if he has and he's quiet, I'm extremely surprised because this guy is coming up. I haven't heard this song, but just by the way he started off, it's a diss. Now you're using my mom, he's using his mom's thing. And it's a song, he's making fun again. Of, and I say again because in the past, that's how he did his other rap song. He used Residente's song and threw it back and flipped it at him. Flipped it at Residente. So he did this now. Residente starts the song with uh, a very deep song called René that talks about his life. Uh, his tribulations, his depression, and his anxiety. And this guy comes and, and he starts with his mom voice saying, you know, Residente, when he was a little kid, pay attention, René, pay attention to the to, to the lesson. And she's like, because René is autistic, right? So he wasn't, you know, paying attention. He was rocking back and forth, ACAP, probably looking all over the place. So the mom is like, let me look for a creative way to get my kid to learn the lesson. And what she did was that she sang to him. She made rhymes and sang to him. And it was very pretty. And he's using that same uh, that same scheme, the same scheme he's using it to start his this song. And he's making fun of her accent. I mean, not of, I don't know, not of her accent, because she doesn't talk like that. She pronounces the R. But, you know, uh, Caribbeans, we tend to pronounce the, L, the R, we turn it into an L. And we also... Uh, and sometimes we turn it into an I, and sometimes we don't pronounce it at all, or a J. A J in Spanish, that it sounds like an H, okay? But it's not Jack. Uh, but, you know, the, 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 the 
interjection um ha 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 spell h a h a and in spanish is j a j a so it's not ja ja it sounds like ja ja but it's ha ha so this guy came very aggressive very disrespectful too a ver niño silencio a ver nach Dime un ejemplo de rima sonante. Mastil y táctil, profesor. Muy bien, mastil y táctil. Perfecto. Ahora tú, residente. ¿Una rima consonante? Mayonesa, fresa, hamburguesa. Oh, este niño es tonto. Lo primero, los raperos... Ok, so... Oh, no, 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 wait, so, hold on, sorry about that. Ok, give me a second. Y así entonces tú... Silencio. A ver, Nach. Dime un ejemplo. Ok, I'm sorry. I had to uh, fix that because it flipped. I touched that uh, forward and it went to the next video. Because I have it on the list. So I guess that's Nach. Is that him? Because he looks so different. I don't know. But sometimes he has the cap in his hair. If that's him, nice hair, dude. He has hair. And yeah, he is thin. I'm not going to take that away from him. He's a thin man. He's a fit man. Because uh, he was making fun of Residente in the last, in the other, not the, not the third song, the last one that I did, lesson number two. I believe it was a lesson number two, or lesson number one, saying that, you know, he, he was going bold, but that he was getting a chest. So, you know, for the hormones. But, um, so, studying in the classroom, and acting out like the teacher, this is the rapper academy. So the teacher's asking Presidente, do a consonant rhyme. No, I'm sorry, do a, 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 a what's his name, Notch. And he keeps throwing and saying this to Notch. I wonder what Notch thinks about this. I wonder if Notch is gonna say something. Does he really respect Presidente? Or does is he talking to this guy saying, you know, Yo, man, what are you doing? You know, he's my friend. I mean, you know, I did it with him, but I don't care. He's my friend. You're funny. Because you never know. They're Spanish, both of them. So so who knows? But I wonder, Nach hasn't said anything as far as I know. I got to check. We're going to Google. I'm going to Google to see if somebody in Spain, in some Spanish TV, they have asked Nach, what do you think about uh, Grandson saying that you just rap with Residente because uh, he, you wanted clout. That's another thing. I don't think that Nach is going to like that too much either. So let's see. I mean, Nach hasn't said anything. And this is the second time that he mentions him, not in the song because he doesn't start singing, but in this scheme where he's a teacher, a professor, and he's asking in the rap academy, hey, you know, what's the rhyme and consonant? And the person did tactil, uh, uh, mastil, and it's the T I L T I L the T T uh, L mm, that is not the I but the uh, T L but putting it together it has the consonant predominates. De rima sonante, mastil y táctil, profesor. Muy bien, mastil y táctil. Perfecto. Ahora tú, residente. Una rima consonante. Mayonesa, fresa. No, wait, wait, wait. So he's saying, okay, so this guy is saying, no, 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 wait, hold on. Let me take this back. Tactile and mastil, according to them, are assonante. So those are, that's a, 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 a assonance sound. Meanwhile, um, from uh, hamburguesa y fresa is not, is, is not assonante because he did assonance. Hamburguesa and fresa. Because of the ESA, ESA, but he, he said, oh, he said that that's a, a consonant. And Residente gave that out, supposedly it's a consonant. And he's saying, you know, that it's not. Let's see how the professor reacts. Oh, este niño es tonto. Lo primero, los raperos saben que René es un freca que tiene línea directa. Wait, 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 what, 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 what? So he, the teacher just called the student a dumb. 
Oh, este niño es tonto. Lo primero, los raperos saben que René es un freca que tiene línea directa con miembros de la academia, pero Casey Zato y Nats no lo dicen aunque lo piensan como piensan que es su último disco da vergüenza. Ok, so, oh, let's see. So we gotta get this, wait, because I gotta, I gotta be able to get this, I'm sorry. So we're gonna go back and I don't wanna lose it. The CD. Okay, so that song, yeah, the, I think that was his first. He didn't come, I'm gonna look at his latest uh, CD. I don't think he has come out with a late one. I think that one that he saw is about, the one about sex that Residente did. And he went all over the world. I didn't like it. I didn't like the music and I didn't, I didn't like the rhyme either, you know? So I don't know. So he's saying that, uh, first of all, you're not a rapper, you're a fake. And that Notch and somebody else, I can't remember the name, does not say it, but they think it. Like they also think that his, the Residente last CD, that one there, uh, did not deserve to did not deserve to win the Grammys. Último disco de vergüenza ajena. No te los merecías como el éxito que conseguiste tras el casting porno que tú hiciste para Elías. Y sabías que paró tu tira era Coscuyuela. Pensó que la respuesta yo se la escribiría. Oh, he thought that with the answer he just he had just brought it back. So he's also making fun of Coscuyuela. Okay, so he's saying and. So not only like, you know, you're a fake rapper and, you know, Notch and this other guy don't think that you are, but they don't tell it in your face. And they also believe that your last CD was no good and that you did not deserve the Grammy Award. But also, uh, now, you see, now I forgot it. It's too long. It's like, wait, hold on, hold on. Give me a break. Give me a break, okay? You're gonna bear this with me, please. Lo primero, los raperos saben que René es un freca que tiene línea directa con miembros de la academia, pero que hizo Zato y Nats. Okay, so he's saying that they have that he has direct connection with the Grammy Awards, okay? No lo dicen aunque lo piensan como piensan que es su último disco de vergüenza ajena. No te los merecías como el éxito que conseguiste tras el casting porno que tú hiciste para Elías y sabías que paró tu. Okay, so then he's going forward like the like the success you you found after you did that porno casting for Elias. Elias is Renet's uh, manager. And what else did he say? And then yes, and then goes Cuyuela, and I gotta remember that because that's how this guy he was the one that left a comment on my uh, video. I'll put the link of that video one more time. It's in Spanish as well because I was shocked. I just wanted to do it real quick and I didn't care and I have problems with my cameras like I always do. Anyhow, so when I went to do it, I'm like, whatever, I'm just going to talk over it because Rene, I thought, because first I thought, <laughs> I know I, I'm all over the place. The thing is that Rene had a song called Adentro, Inside. And it was a this, and nobody knew who it was because he never mentioned the name of the person, which is not honest since Residente has said that he always, that if somebody this is him, they better mention his first name and his last name. But he did it in that song. And now we know not, now we know why when I posted that video, it was because Elias was also the producer of Coscuyuela, according to what they say. Because I thought it was too tempo that he had done it. And everybody, that's what the comments said. We didn't know who it was. And Residente never mentioned it. And Residente said, okay, and I know I said it, it was hypocritical because of that. And I did think that, but I also accept the fact that Residente says that uh, he didn't want to make him famous. I don't mention your name. It's not because I'm afraid. It's because I don't want to make you famous. So I got to be fair. This guy is talking about that day, that incident, when on Instagram, Presidente said 10 years ago, I wrote this song and I still haven't gotten any reply. And then Coscuyuela chimed in and said, yes, I was thinking about that. By the way, who was this since they never respond? And Residente said, you. No, he didn't say it like that. He said it worse. He was like, your mother knows, your family knows. Because I think Residente suffered, I told you, I think he's autistic and I think he suffered from uh, Tourette syndrome. Like you can't control yourself when you say, and he'll say something. 
<laughs> the point is that it was com- it was comedic. If they plan it, it was fun. Because, I mean, this guy said that they don't believe it. He, I don't think he believes it. And then he said something about Cosculluela responding, I mean, in the Instagram, make, writing that comment that he thought that he had replied back. That and like he doesn't be I, it, it, in in a way he does either he he thinks that's that's nothing that that's garbage and I'm pretty sure he does, or at the same time he's saying that he doesn't believe that all that scheme that it was just them because what happened is and again I'm jumping that after residente said that to uh, Cusculluela Cusculluela came back and said well it took you ten years to finally come out and be a man and say it. Ah, I'm glad to know that. And insinuated that he was going to come after him. And that's when uh, Elias chimed in. Imagine if Drake did that. But Drake did that behind. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I love these gossips. But I'm pretty sure uh, Drake did that behind with Snoop Dogg and Eminem. Like, yo, guys, chill. No. But Elias didn't care. He just wrote it right there on Instagram. He was like, if you think. If you go at each other's, if you diss each other, do not mention uh, White Lions. That's the record company. Tu tira era Coscuyuela. Pensó que la respuesta yo se la escribiría. Matías Residente, no soporto al prepotente que insulta a un género entero y presume de hip hopero, despreciando a los artistas que han hecho historia en su pueblo para luego colgarse de Bad Bunny al año siguiente. Y sigo hablando de Grammys. ¿Cuántos? Okay, so that's the thing. That's why he's dissing Residente, because he can't stand people who this a rapper, who this a whole genre, and then they come and they uh, unite themselves with other people. I think that's what he said. <laughs> Sabías que paró tu tira era Coscuyuela? Pensó que la respuesta yo se la escribiría. <risa> Matías Residente, no soporto al prepotente que insulta a un género entero y presume de hip hop. I can't resident, I can't stand, no soporto, I can't stand al prepotente. Oh, okay, yes, the, the person, um, oh, oh. it's not preposterous, it's like somebody who is egocentristic, you know, their ego, they have a big ego and they think that, you know, they're everything and then they come and they insult, the, they insult people who have made some history in their own uh, city, you know, and then he trying to play. Pero despreciando a los artistas que han hecho historia en su pueblo para luego colgarse de Bad Bunny al año siguiente. Y sigo hablando de Grammys. ¿Cuántos tiene Maluma? And then you're, and then you get, yeah, okay, so that's what he said. So I can't stand the uh, obnoxious who comes in and starts dissing and disrespecting uh, people, the whole genre, the whole genre, because he did that, okay, ah, ya yeah, sé. Sí. I know why now, because Residente had said the whole genre song, and that's the time that Tempo came in, and everybody came in, and they were, gee, 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 gee. so this guy is also upset that Residente did that, and then he said, now you're playing with Bob Bunny, but Bob Bunny is trapped, and Bob Bunny, I mean, his rhymes are not complicated, but he does have a good rhyme, I mean, they do their effect, it's music that you can dance to, you can listen, and you can groove, and and when it came to Afilando Cuchillo, he did murder Residente. That's my humble opinion. I like uh, Bad Bunny's part more than I did. His bars more than I did. ¿Cuántos Enrique Iglesias, Fonsi, Shakira, Osuna? ¿Pero cuántos tiene Jay Sa- Oh, okay. So he's talking about the Grammy now. He's like, but, you know, let's go back to the Grammy. You know, you talk about having Grammys or you brag about these Grammys and then about all these people, they also have Grammy. Maluma has Grammy. Uh, Ozuna has Grammy. Shakira has Grammy. And Shakira is one that Residente did a song with her, just like Limbisque did with Christina. I don't think it's the same reason. I hope it's not the same reason, but I know that he's always dissing on her now. Like, not dissing like in a bar or stuff like that. He doesn't... But he does, you know, like, you know, I'm not Shakira. In a song, he did say, I want my music. I go to the Grammys because I want my music to be listened by Shakira's audience or Shakira's followers. ¿Cuántos tuvo J. Lip? ¿Cuántos atrae Cold Quest? Parry, Kenemi, o Mob Deep. El respeto que buscas con camisetas del gang. Es como el de los blancos ricos con gorras de Butan Clan. Those are bars. The respect that you're looking with the shirt of El Can Cancerbero. Oh, that's the rapper. He doesn't like that. 
grandson is very upset. That's one of the things that he's upset the most to the resident to use the grandson t-shirt with the grandson's face. And that video that he did with Notch, I'm like, why don't they just go and Notch you call him and say, hey, dude, let's do a song together to stop this. Oh, he's saying, yeah, that uh, he said before that Residente earning his Grammy, it wasn't a big deal because, you know, people like Maluma and Osuma and Shakira had had Grammys as well. And that uh, Gaisha and somebody else that he mentioned, let me see who he did. Estuvo J. Lip, cuando se atrae con Quest, Fabric en Emmy Mob Tip, el respeto que buscas con camisetas del gato. J. D. Tatsino, Gaisha, these people are great in the rapping, but they have not gotten any uh, Grammys. And thanks to this guy mentioning rappers, by the way, I have listened to other rappers. The two that he mentioned in the other video, I Google, I YouTube them. The kids from Argentina. It's a uh, trap music, but it's odd. It's, I'm going to react to it. I want to translate it whenever I can. It's kind of interesting. It is interesting. It's like the black people with gorras of Butan Clan. You're putting a gorra on the Butan Clan. That's a bar right there. That's a bar by itself. He's like wearing that T-shirt of uh, Cancerbero. It's just like the rich people wearing T-shirts of Butan Clan. The Butan Clan. Has perdido todo el pelo, claro que te tengo envidia, pero solo a tu dinero. Nunca has sido un freestyler, tu hermano es tu ghostwriter. Okay, so he's saying that, you know, I'm not, a, I'm, I don't envy you because you're bold and you're fat and I'm extremely good looking. No, he didn't say that, but I only envy your money. That's what he's saying. And now he's also saying that you have never been a writer and your brother is a ghostwriter. Who is the brother that is the ghost brother? It cannot be Vicentico. It cannot be, no Vicentico, no, I'm not saying Vicentico. Sorry, Vicentico is the other guy that he said a song with and then. Oh my God, what's the name of that guy? Ah, Visitante. I just know him by Visitante. That's bad. I'm pretty sure the name will come up, but the stepbrother, is that who he's talking about? And, oh, he's talking about Gabriel. Because that's a residentes, you know, Tight brother. I cannot be, if that, I mean, I'm saying that what he's saying is true, but it cannot be the stepbrother. It cannot be the part, the guy that was in the part of the group with Calle 13 is like the pet shop boys. You know that, or like Wham. Except that he was much better in the sense that he produced the music. He produced the music, he did awesome music, but he, he barely rap. He barely said anything. So he's the one writing. It cannot be him. And Residente didn't change. It's not like when Residente left the group, you know, his rapping went down. No. No, no, no. He got much better. That Cathedra and the uh, Querido Luis. Pero no nos engañes, nunca serás un rapper. Tu pop tiene de rap el patrón de caja y bombo. Pero no lo digo yo. Esto me lo dijo el chombo. Esta rima consonante así. God, this guy is busy. First of all, he's saying that his rap, again, you know, it's, 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 wait, 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 hold on. See, I get, is that, this guy, oh my God, how much, hey, why? Okay, so yeah, your brother was writer, pero no nos engañes, nunca serás un rapper, tu pop tiene de rap, el patrón de caja y bombo. Okay, so your rap, your rap is, has uh, this pattern of box and, Candy, that's what I think. Caja Bombo is. Don't know, but I think that. But the point. I think that he said that his pattern is just like nursery rhyme because he had said that before about residente. Pero no lo digo yo. Esto me lo dijo el chombo. Esta rima consonante. That, that I didn't say that. This uh, told me el chombo. I think he's saying, but it comes out as show. So I don't know who he's talking about. But he's saying I, I'm not saying this. It's not coming from me. It's coming from some someplace else, somebody else. Sido patrocinada por cerveza Residentes. Como beber, please. And this is uh, the beer. This is uh, Residentes beer. He's making fun of Residentes beer, saying, so let's break it down. Residentes. It's not Residente. If you hear it, the 
in the his name residente, which means a resident. You know, D E N. It's just that at the end you add an E. So you and you and in Spanish every syllable you pronounce it. So residente, resident. It's the same way of uh, spelling, except for the E. It's a cognate word. But the funny thing is that this guy is doing with diente, which is like dental, then it's saying cow without teeth. So he's playing with residente's name, breaking it down like if he was breaking it down in syllables. But then instead of being dien, and it should have been dientes, he makes that on purpose. You know, he makes that, pur that's, a, that's purposely there because he would have to do still dien and then tes. Como beber pis caliente. It rhymes, huh? Like drinking, uh, hold on. Sorry about that. Okay, let's keep going. And this is, Residente has a beer. And he's also called this beer, like drinking uh, warm urine. Warm urine. But he didn't say urine. He said something else, much worse. And also, um, this uh, beer, cow without a teeth, is, uh, yeah, cow without teeth. This beer is uh, sponsoring this song. Caliente. Te falta léxico y no sabes de estructura No sabes de historia ni de literatura No sabes rapear nada que no sean empareados, cabrón Oh, he's just saying that he's a dumb, dumb, dumb He's telling him that he's a not educated You don't know about literature, you don't know about history You don't know about culture And... Tú eres un impostor con altura Mi rap es mi Glock You're an imposter with height So I don't know if he's mean... I don't know what he means by that. If he's tall, or he's just an imposter that came on big. On big. TikTok. Mi riff te marcó como la cara de Tyson. Eres un intruso, incluso un falso hip hop. Eres el gordo de los. Oh my God, this guy is that. Those are bars there. The, the you know my 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 rap, my bars, my other songs. They mark you like the face of Tyson. And he used that. I like that rhyme. Now he's changing rhymes. You can hear that right? TikTok. The Simpson gets a carry Michael Jackson. Yeah, because it, yeah, it's kind of like uh, childish again, but it reminds me of a beat. I don't know, is this an Eminem song? And then he's saying that you think that you, you think you, you're like, you're like the, the Simpson, the fat guy from Simpson, uh, from the Simpsons, the overweight guy from the Simpsons, and you think that you're Michael Jackson, who think he's Michael Jackson. So you think that you're a rapper, but you're not. Era un ignorante, no un delincuente. So he's saying that sometimes I feel like I'm going crazy, you know, Cypress Hill, insane in the membrane. And, you know, sometimes people go around asking him, hey, why did you kill Residente? You know, he was, uh, he was ignorant, not a delinquent, but he was ignorant. De que analicé tu letra, la gente la escucha y dice que bonita canción, pero que mierda de rimas. La nominación de tu hermana no la consiguió sola con una llamada tuya, no hace falta la payola y es extraño tanto hablar. Oh my God. And you see, that's what I'm saying, that he is dissing now his sister, Presidente's sister. He's saying that, uh, this guy's brutal. He's saying that Presidente's sister was not nominated. You know, she, she, she just not, was nominated because uh, he made a phone call. And when you have a brother like Residente who can make a phone call, he has connection with the Academy. That's what he said, that Residente has connection with the Academy and the Grammys, you know, Latin Grammys, that you don't need to put out. <sighs> My camera died. 
That happens all the time. Now, the camera didn't die. I had enough batteries. Not the battery. It's that there is a limit of what you can record. So I don't know how long this video is going to be because it shouldn't have been that long. It's only five minutes. This song is only five minutes long. But then again, it's so good. And it's such a strong this. And I'm surprised again that Residente, Rene, has not responded, which I know what he's going to say. I know that Residente is going to say that he... Uh, that he's writing, that he got better things to do. But that contradicts what he have always said, that he doesn't let anybody, he doesn't let anybody talk to him, you know, diss him. And this guy, you know, is coming at him because he's getting a reputation now. And he's good. So he's getting a reputation, but he's good in what he does. There's no doubt about it. Es extraño tanto hablar de Latam con tanto orgullo, tanta lluvia, tanto sol, Maradona y sus dos goles y las únicas colaboraciones que tienes con raperos, una es de USA y otras dos con españoles. Y ahora... Oh my God, this guy is, like I said, he's a beast. So again, he's taking Eminem, I mean Eminem, René's songs and he's flipping it back at him. So now the other song that he's flipping back is Latinoamérica, which that's the one, the original time that, that's the, that's the song that caused all this. He dissected the song. He said that he was being kind, that he didn't want to be as mean, but he sounded um, bad, you know what I mean? Rene, Residente replied to that. Residente saw it. So he's, he's aware of this guy. He didn't mention his name, of course, because he doesn't want to give him any any recognition you know so he doesn't if he does then he's going to go after him but i'm pretty sure ah uh, no i'm not going to say i'm pretty sure you know because a lot of people all the time say i'm pretty sure this a lot of the reactors and we don't know nobody knows how the resident is actually feeling but right now he's saying to him flipping his song back of latin america and in that song El residente talks about how beautiful Latin America is and how it has the, a lot of sun, a lot of rain, and Maradona, uh, the Argentinian. You guys, like, Google him if you don't know who I'm talking about, but everybody should know who Maradona is. And the historical thing that Maradona did with the two goals, that the, the hand of God, that he he pushed it into the goal thing. He it hit his hand, so but the uh, they didn't see it. So they, he, he didn't get caught. He didn't get caught. They didn't call him upon him. But the point is that Residente uses that that historical moment in soccer and in war because they were Las Malvinas, you know, and there was a war between Argentina and, Engl and England where England was saying that the Malvinas Island belonged to them. And it belongs to Argentina. So I don't know. And then the people from the island were saying that they want to be British, that they want to be recognized by Brit by England. So Residente compared that moment that everybody was like, whoa, Argentina got, at least they got England through uh, soccer since they lost that war. And this guy says, yeah, you know, you praise Latin America and all this, but buddy, when you collaborated, your collaborations were with two Spaniards and uh, a, an American. Atrévete a decir el nombre de aquel al que insultabas en stories por ser un trapero nuevo. Pero entiendo que al final tienes que mamarle lo. Atrévete, te, te. He's playing again with Residentes uh, songs. And that was uh, the first song that Residente came out. So he's like, and that song, Atrevete, means there, 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 there. So he's like, there, come out of the closet and say, who were you? That, mention the name. There, come out and mention the name of that guy that you were throwing, you know, you were dissing that because he was new and trapped. Los huevos porque el que te pagan Sony es el padre de Anuel. <laughs> y lo digo el... So he's saying that the one that pays him in Sony is the Anuel's dad. Now, I don't know what if... I got to Google Anuel's background because I thought Anuel came from a, a poor background. I didn't think that he was rich because if his dad worked for Sony and Anuel is young, he's, a, he's in his 20s, that means that he had money. 
Well, unless he's saying that resi that Anuel uh, that like saying Anuel is better than Residente, but I don't know if he's literally if it's true. Mis respetos a los cangris, ni que improvisa bien, al igual que Yankee ya han hecho más. Oh, okay, so now he's giving props to ca like the cangri. He said uh, Nikki improvised very good and and that Yankee has done more for... Por el español con el género urbano que tú pagando colabos en cis norteamericanos. Te gusta Puerto Rico para hablar el... That Yankee that has done more with Spanish in the... In the uh, Spanish genre. He has done more for the Spanish language in the Spanish genre. Or he has done, yeah, that's what he said. He has done more for the Spanish. Or he has done more with the, uh, sorry about that. Anyhow, the point is that he's giving props to Nikki and, and Daddy Yankee. And then he said, you like Puerto Rico to talk in las canciones. Te gusta para hacer demagogia en la disquera. Quieres que te entierren en el viejo San Juan. Pero mientras sigues vivo, prefieres vivir afuera. Pusiste cierre. Okay, that didn't rhyme there. I don't know. Quiere, prefiere vivir afuera. So, I don't know what word he said before, but it kind of like, that was a lazy rhyme. That was a lazy throw in, but he had to say it, that he wanted to live outside. So he's saying that Residente talks a lot about Puerto Rico. Uh, he uh, he uh, teaches about Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico, but he doesn't live in Puerto Rico. So all this love for Puerto Rico, you don't live there. Raleón para rimar con eslabón, menudo bache. Pusiste hecho del verbo echar con H. Quizá un fan de tiempo escriba gente con J y con broncano. No sabías que España estaba en Europa. Y estoy harto de esto. So he's talking about all the thesis that uh, Residente has done to other people, saying that they didn't know how to write, you know, and that maybe your fans, they write J, uh, gente, with a J instead of a G, because the G in gente sounds like the J in Spanish, sounds like an H, he, he, gente, but people tend to write it then with a J instead of writing it with a G. La rima consonante, voy a mandarte de vuelta a la escuela de bellas artes. Frontear aquí no eres el pacta de latinus. So he's saying, I'm going to send you back to the school of uh, beautiful arts, bellas artes. That's a very prominent school, not only in Puerto Rico, but in the Dominican Republic. And they have one in Florida, Miami, too. And he's going to send him back over there because he's not good at rhyming. He's saying that resident is not good at rhyming. El nombre de un rapero muerto para promocionarte y si vas a presumir de hábitos. Back again, he doesn't like the fact that Residente used that T-shirt of Cancerbero, which some people say that Cancerbero committed suicide. But the thing is that Residente, and I think that's why Residente might have wanted to give him prop. Maybe he found out about Cancerbero after his death. I didn't know anything about Cancerbero either. I didn't hear it. But then again, I'm not, uh, uh, I'm not deep into the rap culture. Like these people are. There's a lot of rappers in Spanish that I don't know about. And in English too. But uh, I heard about Cancerbero because of his tragic death. And then I started looking at him, you know, Googling him, YouTubing him, and I learned more about him. And maybe Residente did the same thing and he showed his teacher. He's like, oh, this guy was good, man. And now he's so upset because he thinks Residente did that for clout. Sexuales me los creo, todo es mucho más fácil cuando se paga, sobre todo si aquellas. Ooh, now that was a bar there too. Oh, this guy has no mercy. Wow, he just said because Residente talks about his uh, sexual habits, how he is uh, depraved, you know, not depraved, but he's a uh. Oh my God, I, I got the word in my head. The point is that he's, he's sick. He's a sick man when it comes to sex. Residente is. And he's like saying, I know, I, I believe about your sexual habit, especially if you pay for sex. Las que mojan las bragas son igual de feas que la hija del puto Hugo Chan. No hace falta saber leer ni tener... And then he's saying that the girls that he sleeps with are ugly as the uh, as the daughters of, and then he insults uh, Hugo Chavez, which is something he's doing that on purpose. He's doing that purposely because Residente has never wanted to talk bad about Hugo Chavez. He always said, "Well, I don't know, you know, 
the people in Venezuela are saying this, but then the people from the government are saying something different. So I don't want to get involved in that. And I think he wants to stay out of it because it's not that he, but he did a, he brought the, he did go to Venezuela a lot. And he was, it's not that he was pro Chavez. I don't know if he was pro Chavez. He never said it, but he did a lot of things with in Venezuela when Chavez was the governor, like he did in Cuba. That should not, but to Latinos, just like Americans too. I mean, like everybody, if you, if an artist go to a, to a country that, uh, people want to boycott or the people think the government is, is, is committing cruelty. Uh, people want them, fans want them to ban that country, to boycott that country, not go there. And Residente did go to Venezuela and he never said anything bad about Hugo Chavez. And people were upset because Residente went after any politician uh, who, you know, hurt, the, who was uh, corrupted or and did criminal acts. But he never said anything about Hugo Chavez. Un diccionario para ver que solo usas adjetivos contrarios. Quería ser director, mejor hazte un dembow. El rap es chicos del barrio, tú eres la reina del flow. <laughs> oh my God, that's a good uh, bar too. So he's telling him, hey, you know, you say that you want to be a director. Now you know what, you know what, you want to direct movies. But I think that, you know, you better get out of that. Maybe, maybe you should do a dembow. The bow is like this kind of music that comes from Dominican Republic is uh is very uh, danceable. It's a very danceable music. It has a lot of drum in it and jumping around. But the point is that he's like do a dembo because you know rap is for the uh the guys from the from the hood. It's for people from the hood, chicos del barrio. Which chicos doesn't sound so bad as hoodlums, you know, but uh, People from the hood, you know, he's like, it's people from the hood. It's not people, you know, your thing is more about flow. You got more flow, like danceable music. And Residente says the opposite. He says that my music is not for the dance floor. My music is to sit down and listen to it, vibe to it, and analyze it. It's to make you think. A veces siento que me vuelvo loco Cypress insane in a membrane En la calle me pregunta la gente Cabrón, ¿por qué mataste a Resident? I like that hook. He took that insane in the brain main uh, hook, you know, and uh, he's like saying that he think he's going crazy and insane in the membrane. And uh, people on the street ask him, hey, uh, you crazy guy, how come you kill Resident? A veces siento que me vuelvo loco. Cypress insane in the membrane. Era un ignorante, no era un delincuente. ¿Por qué mataste a Resident? Tienes el miedo metido en el... That, that, ooh. Jesus, he's coming with a speed that even as soon as I stop this thing, it can he continue. My God, hold on, let me back up a little bit. Okay, so, uh, Jesus Christ, he threw me off right there. Okay, so but the the, the thing that he was saying there that he wants to, uh, people ask him, and then I like the scheme that he did there because he. The scheme that he did, it was like people were talking to him. So first he's saying that people ask him on the street, hey, why did you kill Residente? But he's going on the third person. And then he goes into the second person where he acts, he, he sings at the same time, like if he was the people, people, he were one of the guys in the street asking him, why did you kill him? And he say, and the person is saying to him, hey, Grants, no, the person is saying he was ignorant. He wasn't a delinquent. You know, grandson, why did you kill him? You know, like with that, like God, so appalled. Like my God, he wasn't such a bad guy. <laughs> I like this key. Okay, he's going at, he's going, he's pulling an M and M now. When, It's going 100 miles an hour. So you got the fear in your body. It is not the talent. It doesn't matter if the talent is, is fast or slow. Okay, so wait a minute. Let me see. Okay, so you got the fear inside of your body. It doesn't matter 
If the talent is fast or slow. Vento tan solo un momento, si ataco violento te dejo en el suelo, estilo movimiento, si yo represento la city la tengo en mi mano, así que estate atento cuando entro en la escena, no importa la gente, el estilo, el color, el género, el acento, si como viento que ataca y se para de nuevo, luego empieza el nuevo juego de Lego, me pego en el ritmo, con piezas de Lego, me quedo en el limbo del cabo del miedo, si quiero me adhiero y trajero, pero mi objetivo primero nunca fue el dinero, soy el infierno, me vieron rapiendo, veneno, ya me he pasado el doble tiempo, un manager te consiguió. Okay, so he's like going a miles an hour, he say, you know, I come and go, you know, I don't... I don't follow uh, a certain pa pattern. Um, wait a minute, let me see, hold on. Uh, I could, wait, what? Oh, wait, hold on. So it doesn't matter in the scenery, the people don't care about the style, the colors. They want what I feel now. I feel sorry. I stop again. Crazy thoughts. Get this. Uh, new coconuts in the ego. I sell. That that I guess is something about being egocentric or being uh, somebody who thinks that they're better than they're not, that they are not. And he's saying that is people want reality. So he's saying he's talking about his flow, yeah. So he's like, you know, I can I can hang in limbo, like you know, I can drag my verses, I can go fast, I can go slow. That was good though. That was very good. I like that. Ooh, manager is like so he's going really da, 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 and then slows down like he says he does it. He stays in the limbo, you know, like a, ooh and like that was pretty cool. I like that. So a manager what? Oh, got him fiction of Eminem. So your manager make you like he was a fiction of Eminem because people have compared him to Eminem. Será para el rap como Will Smith con tu pack. Vives tu guille de triunfar en el cine. Wait, you'll be like the rap, like what? Oh wait, hold on. Será para el rap como Will Smith con tu pack. Vives tu guille de triunfar en el. I don't know who he mentioned there, like Tupac. I know I heard Tupac. So he's you. You'll be like rap, like this guy is to Tupac. Okay, wait, wait, wait. That was kind of harsh there. And again, this is a little bit like he says things that are disrespectful and borderline uh, racist, you know? So he's saying that what is it about? Wait. Te consiguió ficción vener será para Spirit como Tupac vives tú y yo de triunfar en el fin de la ley pero triunfar es en el fin de la ley pero no hacían falta dos príncipes so there so there was there was no need for two uh, prince I'm trying to read this, guys. Pido a los Grammy y a los Billboard la categoría de letra y que premie la escritura de aquellos que la trabajan. Okay, so he wants him them. Okay, he wants the Grammy and the Billboard to open up a category of letters, lyrics, not letters. Letras is lit, is letters, but in this case, he's talking about bars. He's talking about lyrics. So he wants them to open up a uh, an award for that and then see and then he wants them to uh, reward those who write okay to those who work and yeah and give it to those who work i guess to those who actually work the bars that's what he's saying and then he says your perception uh in respect to your the perception that you have in regards to your culture the perception that you have in regards to your culture, it uh, it, it it says a lot about you. Rata necesitas otro libro en el CD solo de ratas. A veces siento que me vuelvo loco. You need another book in excess of rat, but I don't know what he's trying to say there. Cypress insane in a membrane. En la calle me pregunta la gente, cabrón, ¿por qué mataste a residente? A veces siento que 
me vuelvo loco Cypress insane in the membrane Era un ignorante, no era un delincuente Piensa, ¿por qué mataste a Residente? <risa> Y esa fusión que dices que te inventaste ya la hacía Manu Chao hace 30 años con... Ok, yeah, so that's what... Ok, so he's saying here, now he's talking and we're coming to the end. And this video is long. Imagine the other part that I had to stop because whatever. Guys, please, if you get to the end and you look at this, give it some love. Show some love because I'm trying to translate this. And it's a good practice. It will just make me better. I want to get better... I'm translating and I don't want to translate every single time reading. I don't want to translate having to look at it first and then come and say it. I want to translate as they're singing it, you know, stopping and making my comments. So they're always going to be long. I mean, unless and the, the simple the lyrics, the easier is going to be for me to translate and make comments. But this guy is not his ly ly lyrics are complex, you know, so it's not like you can do it like that. So he's saying the fusion, you know, he's talking about, but Residente always talks about how he makes uh, songs that he did by and but with rap and, you know, every time because he raps, that's what he's doing. He's, you're, 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 you're saying words, you know, to, through a beat. That's what rap is. You're not, you don't have a melody. It's not melodious yet. Like you're lingering your vowels, your, your consonant, your syllables, you know, it's not singing. So, but he does it with uh, cumbia, he does it with re reggaeton, he does it with rap. So he said, he's saying that he created that. That's what René said. And he's telling him, no, you, you were not the first one. Manu Chao did that. And it's true, Manu Chao did have a mix too. But Manu Chao sings. Manu Chao sings. Con mano negra. Feca. Vete a parafrasear a Oscar Wilde. So go and paraphrase Oscar Wilde. That sounds funny. Why Oscar Wilde? What's so special about Oscar Wilde? But that's what he's saying. Maybe he's throwing that because he said that Residentes just throws name out there because he doesn't have an education. So he just like Googles things or finds a little information and then just throws it out to make himself sound highly educated, I guess. Or maybe Oscar Wilde is something relatable to uh, Presidente. I don't know right now. I don't think so, though. But I'm going to, guys, let you go because this is already 22 minutes long. And I already have another half that I had to cut. Or I had to stop. I was forced to. Again, thank you for watching. If you got all the way here, props to grandson. Uh, that was a killer. And let's see what happens. Uh, you know that if Residente, uh, I'm gonna translate it, of course, I don't wanna make comments. Let's see Residente, because this guy already has four. But anyhow, take care, bye.